Hello everyone! Yes, it's another new game. Uh, this time, uh, although this one's gonna be a little bit different, because, um... First of all, if you notice, there's Batman on the screen. This is a Telltale Batman game. Um, what you probably won't ex uh, get to see is a whole lot of, uh, action. Uh, the Telltale games are more like an interactive movie more than, you know, an actual game. But, uh, it has some questionable decisions that I have to make in it, and my uh, playthrough might be different than yours if you end up buying this. Uh, plus, not all the episodes are out yet, and Telltale usually takes it, it re releases like one episode a month, so I'll be able to stagger these. Um, I'll probably be able to cut these in like two-part sections stuff, but that's behind the scenes shit. You don't care about that. You just care about Batman. Uh, hopefully, my voice sounds good up against the uh, background of the music. Um, enough talk. Let's get to some Batman. Uh, and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun with this. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I should probably keep some sort of tracking time around it, but whatever. So right now, only episode one is up. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, as you see, there's multiple episodes, but these are not out yet. Um, so we're gonna do uh, episode one. We're not gonna do, oh, that's, that's interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, let's go. Um, we wanna adjust the brightness. I guess that's barely visible. Hopefully that's not too dark on the capture. If it is, and I'll be doing this all over again. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. You're gonna turn those against it. I mean, no one Batman. He'd probably be like, there it goes. That's kind of cool that lets you customize that. I will try and play this up to Batman standards as closely as possible. But if, uh, I don't know. There's been several incarnations of Batman. I don't, I don't want to be like, Grumpy jerk Batman all the time. That Batman's not interesting. Ooh. That is true. I mean, with Telltale games, they say that, but or ultimately, it just basically... You're going to get the same story regardless. It's just a little bit different on how you get to point A to point B. This is like a nice looking Gotham City. Like, I'm used to shit looking Gotham City. Oh, this guy's gonna die. <laughs> Pat Downey. Hey, what are you oh, damn! I mean, I was kind of halfway joking about that. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out which gang these guys might belong to. Oh, you stupid Hello. asshole. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? we bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Meet the most useless PD in all of America. The Gotham PD. Uh, it's not gonna be bueno. The hell? Back, back. Alright, there should be at least like three dead officers from that. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. There's the man. All right, I'm gonna take that. Like, I don't get why you don't start shooting immediately in that general direction. Like, why not start shooting right now? Why not shoot him right now? Like, right in the face. I see you're too late for that, homie. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, 
The city is safe for now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Oh, shit. Uh. Shit. The hell they go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. <laughs> That's when you just like drop the gun and be like, nope, I surrender. Oh, see, you're dumb. Uh, let's see. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, that's fucked up. Back to back, circle up. I just thought Batman was kind of an asshole to do this to like the thugs. Just kind of freak him out first. <coughs> kind of like that. Plan's over, dude. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come at! This must be early Batman days, since he's still regarded as kind of a myth. Oh, fuck. All right, we'll do this. He's done. Got him. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Oh, hey. Behind you, big boy. Yeah, definitely got to be early Batman days. Stay where you are. Definitely early race. Batman days if the cops are after him. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. Am I gonna let the fight Catwoman? That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd crossed paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. 
Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. I recognize her voiceover from somewhere. I can't remember her name at the time, though. She did the voice for, um... Shepard in, uh, Mass Effect. Very talented voice actor. I like her. And actually, if you, uh... If you watch my XCOM series... Um... Oh, shit. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, if you watch my XCOM series, her voice is in that game, too. I won't tell you on who. You have to figure that out. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Step on one. Damn. Why go to all that trouble for this? Killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh! God damn it! Oh, that dude's fired. No, wait! Just so you know, if I had missed that, there's probably been some other way they would have created this scenario here. That's what the Telltale games do. You always arrive at the point they want them to. It's just a little bit different how you get there. wrong about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours don't struggle or you'll fall oh, but that's what you crave the struggle I know men like you bye bat oh I have a hard time Step explaining out that. Of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Uh, I hope we don't have to see the origin well, of Batman for like the thirtieth time. Time to save the city. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. 
even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Gee, they got a spotlight on dude. Uh, Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just <laughs> fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease. They're the wheels, and they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. This Harvey seems Just like kind of an asshole. Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. So tempting. For the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Yeah, I'm certainly getting jerk status from this Harvey Dent. Not like the kind of heroic Harvey Dent that you usually see. Arms. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Ugh. You're fun. preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> Made a joke. Always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. 
He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. Who the fuck are you to say that? For a moment. Hey! Uh, don't worry though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. You have no idea. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe, uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. Hey, let's change the subject. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. Oh, what a guilt trip. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. <laughs> this is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? I like how everyone pretty much ignores Harvey. What do you want at the press conference tomorrow? Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Hey, man. I can talk, dude. Oh, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Ah, oh, shit. Well... <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. <laughs> but how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. <laughs> I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Oh, snap! She's into Mr. it. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um... <laughs> Is that blood? Uh-oh. Yeah. It looks like... <clears throat> this? No, it's nothing. It's just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. He's such an asshole. Excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Wait, is he serious? Excuse us, Miss Vale. Uh. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. Yeah, this Harvey's a jerk. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. At least to hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. No. Fuck this guy. Maybe he can change your mind. No! I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> you jerk. Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Mmm, not respectable today.
Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Probably shouldn't let Vicky stay. <laughs> As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Mm. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. <sighs> as much as Harvey stays with us. Yeah, as much as Harvey's a dick. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you ah, ah, What did I say? <laughs> Damn. Bitch status already. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. But no one gets remembered for staying in the That was kind of hypocritical. Given that, Mr. You know, Falcone, I no more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Ah. Uh. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Too bad, Harvey. I ain't nobody's bitch. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Mm. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. I'm going to stay silent on this one. For our city. Yeah, I'm going to be quiet on this one. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Bye. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Guess what I just did. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's <laughs> gonna get what's coming to him. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I don't do dirt. I don't do dirt with criminals. Roll credits!